so hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel so today i am again going to explain you one of the pyspar coding question which is mostly asked in some multiple interviews this is the question which i face in one of the interview okay so the question is like uh, we have the student data set uh, and we need to figure it out or we need to find out the student who has the same marks in two subjects so we are considering we are searching for a student who has the same marks in chemistry and maths okay so to create the data we have created this data set okay then again we have passed this column name like student id name subject and marks and yes uh, let me execute this so yes now we have our data so as per the question we need to find out the name of the student and id who has the same marks in chemistry and maths so the expected output is like uh, here for the chemistry and math for student 00, 0 101 we have the 85 marks which is same okay we are expecting this record again if we can just check here we can expect 103 as well okay and again if you go down we are expecting 104 so at the end we are expecting output as in output we are expecting the student 101 103 and 104 these are the ids and their respected name we are trying to expect so now if we can see this data here we can perform this with the multiple techniques like uh, we can go ahead with a uh, period we can just period this subject by group with the group by of uh, student id and name we can period this subject and we can aggregate as a maximum marks once we have this data then we can just apply some filter condition again if we can think it is something costlier operation as a period the second step like uh, we can just divide this data into two different data set or a smaller data set where one is contain the data for subject chemistry and other will contain the data for the, for the subject maths okay post that we can just perform some uh, self join based on the student id and name and post that we can just apply the filter okay to get the required result but again both are having something costlier operation where need to do some aggregate and more things as well right where we pop it will perform the shuffle operation so just to implement that uh, as per my understanding i prefer to go ahead with the third method which is nothing but the first i will consider this as the main data and i will filter this data for the two subjects uh, like oh, I will take only data where we have the student instead of student we have the subject contains mm, or you can say subject uh, mm, one of and maths and chemistry okay so now i have only the student who has the marks now if you can see my data is now get shrink okay so now only i have the eight records if we if we are implementing with this this with the big data then time it will make huge impact okay so now now what i need to check is if i can see now i have the two subject only maths and chemistry so i prefer to just sort it based on the subject okay means the student id and the subject so if i can just sort it with the student id and subject then what i can get it this is the first record with the math and for that first record i have the chemistry as well okay and similarly for the three i will have the maths and chemistry four maths and chemistry and then chemistry so in that case now if i perform some lead or like anything so i can get one extra field called lead and lag and accordingly for one of the record i will get null and in one record i will get some value so post that i will try to match the values again if the marks for match equals to equals to something previous or or post marks equal to equal to same so in that case i want to filter out that record so how to implement it let's go ahead and check like so as i mentioned first i will try to filter out the subject okay so i have written this code and let me print it as well let's filter dot display yes now i have only the marks uh, only the subject with chemistry and math 
okay so now once this is done I want I am here trying to perform the lag here I am doing the partition with the student ID and name and order by the subject okay so as it is an ascending order so I always it take the chemistry for that particular record and next it will take the maths so as we only have the two subject I am preferring to go ahead with this method okay so once this is done I am performing the lag operation on mark okay and storing it as a previous mark okay so so let me yeah so now I have this one extra field called as previous mark so in simply now if I can see this two record for student ID 101 we have the marks for chemistry is 85 marks for maths is 85 and here previous marks this marks is 85 which is nothing but the chemistry is mark so now I can just check if the marks equal to this and this I can get this record right again if I can just check here so here whatever the value which has a null so it get auto you can say exclude so let me exclude here as well uh, is contain let's make as is not null okay so now here you can see I have only this three records and where it's where it is my expected result like student ID 101 102 and 104 sorry 103 and 104 this is the my expected result as well just to perform this with the coding so I have implemented like uh, marks equal to previous mark okay post that I'm just trying to select the student ID and their name and just performing the distinct okay so at the end if I can execute this so I can have my required result with the student ID and the name so ideally this is my approach if you want or if you think this something better I approach do yeah just mention in the comment so that everyone can have a look into it and yeah thank you for watching this and just like and subscribe to my channel and I'm expecting some support from you coming from you guys thank you bye